And then I think we can probably leave. Yeah. Alright, so we're going to go back, uh, sort of back to the beginning of the level and make our second round. This time, we're going to be doing or we're going to be getting things that rely us to, like, go in the water and stuff, which are rather annoying. <sighs> just to, uh, I just do that, like, sort of, like, organize it in my head, so it's all the ones above the water, and now it's all the ones that are going to be, like, in the water. Just a bit of... Just for organizational purposes, I guess. Okay. So, we got to jump and slam this real quick. So we're going to fall into this shed. My nose is all itchy and runny and for some reason. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa, whoa. Yeah, Jiggy's right there, so don't go uh, being all hasty in this room or anything. Uh, it's amazing how good water tastes sometimes. You know that feeling where it's just like, you know, you know I like Coca-Cola and I like all this other stuff, but just sometimes water is the best. Especially after, like, a hot day in the zoo or something. You know, you just want that water fountain so bad. You don't want a soda. Sodas just be weird. It's you want that. You want that water. Oh, yeah. Um, I need those notes. Give me that! Give me the notes! You note stealer. Oh, don't knock me off. Oh, that was so MLG. Did you guys see that? Oh, I should join MLG Banjo Kazooie Pro Leagues. Oh. Oh, man. Okay, so here's the annoying thing. Because it, like, spawns you underneath the water. But I suppose we can go talk to this thing right here. While we're at it. Help, he's trapped. Is what he basically says. Help! And we're gonna run out of air pretty soon, but it's okay. Snacker's gonna actually make a brief appearance in this water pool. I do believe we can outrun him. Ah! You, you forced me against the wall, you asshole. Okay, so that's the last G. Now I remember. You got two cheap shots on me. Two cheap shots. Shut up, Bell. You're not making this any better. Alright, so after getting cheap shotted by Snacker, we need to dive underwater and go into this air. No! No! Oh, I just barely missed him. Banjo Kazooie Pro Leagues again. Alright, so now we're in another shack. And uh, this one has a flying pad in it, oddly enough. It seems sort of like a strange place to have a flying pad, but we shall see soon enough why it is in here. Excuse me! Get out of town. That guy was so big. Look how big that is compared to Banjo. Look how big that is. Ridiculous. Anyway. Over here, we have a switch that will reveal an empty honeycomb piece. Right there. And that's why we need the flying pad in here. It's a very tight space to fly in, but uh, the only reason is that the uh, honeycomb appears in the air. And I do want that gold feather, actually. Running out. Running out! After that boss battle. Alright, here we go. Fly up and slam. I completely missed it. Oh, but you know what? I just MLG slammed him, so... Worth it! Alright, take two! Excuse me. Can we, can we fly off the flying pad? That'd be fantastic. You know, flying pad, you'd like fly on it. There we go. Alright, so there's one more empty honeycomb we have to get in this level. I'm sure we shall stumble upon it. I think I remember where it is. Not quite sure exactly where it is, but uh, we'll, we'll find it. As long as you explore everything in the levels and you basically know how the level layout is, you will find everything eventually. And now, I think what we should do is swim into here. I think you can. I think you can do this right now. I'm not sure if you're supposed to do something before you do this. 
but I think you can do this at any given time. Alright, so let's provoke these, provoke these guys so they come out. Ah! Not to hit us. Athole! You're not supposed to hurt me. This is a children's video game. Alright, yeah, you can do this at any time. Alright, so we're gonna slam this switch. This is gonna pull up the anchor. And saving the dolphin, the poor dolphin. Dolphin rape time. You know, don't want the dolphin to rape us, so he's just gonna swim away. And we have notes. Oh, we're actually at 85 notes, so that'll signify that we're getting pretty close to the end of the level. Give me that double health. Give me that! Alright, we can get out of here now. Nothing else to see, nothing else to do. Time to get my groove on. Alright, Banjo, let's book it. And I do believe we should... Uh, where should we go? Where shall we go? We need to go into this door that I destroyed earlier. Yawning again. We can just drop down like this if you really want to. And, oh, hey, now I know where the empty honeycomb is. It's in here. Yeah. That's the second empty honeycomb over the level. Now I can continue onward. There is a mumbo token we're gonna get here, but you can see there's a bit of a gimmick. All these things are on a timer. So uh, just be careful when you're stepping. Lots of gears and things. This is in no way, shape, or form representing the actual inside of a ship liner, so please don't go exploring the insides of ship liners in search of quests, jiggies, mumbo skulls, and all of the above. Um, so these stop every once in a while, however, as you can see, uh, over there, there is a Mumbo Skull, but do not even attempt to do it yet because you will kill yourself. Um, it, they are impossible to get without killing yourself at the current time. We have to do other things first. First! I said first, kind of silly. Um, my eyes all itchy. Alright, so we're going to press this switch, which isn't going to do a hell heck of a lot. It's going to slow those things back there, uh, next to the Jiggy, down by a little bit, but not enough. Um, I need to check how many Jiggies we have in this level. Seven of ten? Why does that seem low? Alright, so these things are going to speed up and slow down every once in a while as well. Why does that Jiggy count seem so low? I don't forget one of them. Well, I shall think of it. I shall ponder the uh, the situation and provide you an answer in a day's time. <laughs> All right, so those are going to stop the propellers completely. However, we don't want to uh, actually go for the propellers just yet. We're going to bide our time because what it also does is it also completely stops the spinning of the mechanisms here so that now we can actually obtain the mumbo tokens. So we have a hundred notes, but I don't have all the jiggies. We know that there was- oh, the, I forgot to pick up the, the note- or the jiggy the dolphin dropped, didn't I? That's what I'm forgetting. Okay, we'll get that on the way out, I promise. Alright, so we need to get the dolphin rape jiggy. And we need to get the jiggy in the back of the propeller. The propeller. <laughs> So we're going to bide our time a bit and wait for um, these propellers to stop. Because, you know, we're here. Might as well wait. We're not going to make it to the propellers in the back of the ship just yet. So 
here we are. Propellers are gonna start up again, so we're gonna have to press this switch and the other one. Grunty's gonna make fun of us for being so slow, when in reality, we're actually smart. I, I are smart, you know? Hooked on phonics really worked for me. Hey! Cheap shot. Cheap shot! I saw you. You were moving slow. Freaking cheap shot. Alright. Now, what we're gonna do is probably hit it right before. It's that position. Okay. Here we go. Let's do this. We're on a very strict time limit. I don't know if we're going to make this. It's very difficult. As you might guess. Shit, I should have just run for it. I would have made it. But I do think we shall still have enough time. Especially if Kazooie runs super fast, which she never does. Oh boy. You know, I should have killed these guys on the sides too while I was at it. Ah, not gonna get me today. Alright, so we got 30 seconds. We can do this. Alright, Mario, we can do this. Number one. I'm gonna be number one. I wanna be the very best that no one ever was. To catch them is my real test. Alright, worst part is that we have to get in here and get out ASAP. Because these things will turn back on and you will get stuck. So, uh, yeah. Don't want that to happen either, do we? So let's mosey our way on out of here and pick up that last Jiggy that we forgot to get from the, uh, dolphin, which I can see right there. Gee whiz. An idiot. Can't believe I forgot that. It was, like, right at the exit of the place where we freed the dolphin. I just forgot it. Blew my mind. Ugh. It didn't blow my mind. It slipped my mind. That's what I was trying to say. So if you fly like this, obviously you can save air in the level. It just makes it a little bit easier for yourself. For right now, we're going to need as much air as we can, because we got to dive pretty far just to get that jiggy. Uh -huh. Okay, let's go. Let's do this. And that is all ten jiggies of the world for Rusty Bucket Bay, everyone. Congratulations. Congratulations, you have completed a great game and proved the proved the justice of our culture. Um, Alright, so let's view totals real quick, see what we got. Rusty Bucket Bay, 100 notes, 10 Gs, 2 out of 2 uh, honeycomb pieces in 38 minutes. I think that's the fastest I've probably ever done it, to be honest. No, you know what, I think I've done it in 35, so that's a complete lie. But we're going to warp ourselves on out of here. There's a few more minutes left in this episode. we got a few things to do. So first off, we have... Actually, let's swim down. We have a... Uh, jiggy that we opened up on the outside world in Rusty Bucket Bay to get. So we're going to get that right off the bat here. Alright, uh... Yeah! I think it spawned. If I'm not mistaken. Yeah, there it is. So there you go. That's the jiggy that we uh, that we just got with the grunty switch. Now what we need to do is bust this thing down. I I believe. Climb ourselves on up here. We got another secret to find. Yeah, it is here. There we go. Now we need to swim as quickly as possible. Because we got shit to do. We got shit to do, guys. And boy, do we ever. So we gotta swim pretty fast, because we have to get to the surface, and as you can see, there was that strange, uh, door that was located really high up. Well, now we've raised the water level enough so that we can actually get in here. And, as we shall find, this is the last occurrence of Cheeto, and it's the only one that you don't have to transform into an animal to talk to. So there you go. Baron Bird get, uh, getting good at finding Cheeto some other spell they shall have. Grundy says, that trader book has pushed its luck. So in the burning fire, I'll chuck. <laughs> That's a good one. Find Cheeto, which won't. Code you must enter on the sandcastle floor in Treasure Trove Cove is gold feathers. So that one will double the number of gold feathers that you can carry at any given time. But I think that's about all that we're going to cover in today's episode, or today's few episodes probably, of uh, 
Let's Play Banjo-Kazooie on the Xbox Live Arcade. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you all later.